What's going on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reef Art, coming at you with today's video, which is the indoor swimming pool pond big update. So, let's go. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Jack, aka The Balding Reef. I specialise in tropical and cold water fish, DIY builds, breeding, uh, and various other bits and pieces that go along with it. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. We've got a big, big update. Most of you all remember, <clears throat> in here, in this room, there was a three meter indoor swimming pool pond. Now, as great as that was, it's definitely time to upgrade the fish room, just like we're upgrading the other side with the custom aquarium and stands that we've got going on there at the moment. So, as you can see, just behind me, we have upgraded considerably. Let me turn you around and I'll guide you through exactly what we've been doing. So, as much as I'd like to take all the glory, my good friend Hayden, the Williamson, has been helping me out set out the three pod bay system. Now let me just come back here a little bit. Now don't forget, this is actually filmed in a wide angle lens, so you guys aren't gonna be able to see the full sort of context here in regards to the actual true size. But from wall to wall, it's just over three meters in length. The bays have been set out, so these two are the same size. The, the farthest one over here on the left is slightly bigger. Now the reason for that is as I'm growing on the Japanese koi throughout winter, I wanna give the bigger fish that little bit more swimming room to be able to turn around and graze and things like that. Plus, what we can also do is we can potentially end up even using that outer pod there as a breeding pod as well, and then move the fish on throughout the different sort of growing cycles. Now, Hayden, do you want to just guide us through sort of the different size parameters on each of the pods and explain sort of how we've built the wall, what we've done? Now, bearing in mind that me and Hayden both have no building experience. No skills, no skills. Whatsoever. Skills. So, grab your tape measure, mate. Just measure that one up there for me. Just let me know what the, the big pod. Uh, yeah, the, the big pod. Side. What that runs at. We're talking just over three foot. So just over three foot on that one. The, the second pod. So, about 800 mil. Bang on. So in inches for those of you who are interested, inches. 31 and a half. And the third and final pods. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. There you go. Now, in regards to this, we haven't had to dig any foundations down or anything like that. The garage floor is already about a foot thick. So all we've done is we've actually supported the, the, the blocks upright. We have had a little bit of guidance from uh, Hayden's dad. He's actually a college lecturer at our local college here in Stoke on Trent where we live. And it just so happens that he's a construction lecturer. So he actually gave us the advice to stand the blocks upright. Originally, we were going to lay them all flat. But he said that we, we're not really going to need to do that because the strength of the uh, mortar combined with the solid concrete blocks, because these aren't dense blocks, they're solid concrete blocks. We don't need to do that. He said for that extra little bit of sort of safety, um, if I was slightly concerned, was we could lay the blocks on the front here flat. Do you just want to grab a couple of blocks out and just explain what I mean by sort of how we're going to lay them flat? Yeah, So as you see, the pods have been laying brick on edge, and that's give Jack an extra... Brick on edge, you mean standing up? Standing up, yeah, brick on edge, brick, bricky terms. And that's give Jack an extra, what, three inches per, per breeding pod. Um, but as he mentions on the front, we're going to put them, we're going to lay the box flat as Jack is a little bit concerned about strength and he doesn't want all his fish on the garage floor. Um, so what we mean by brick on edge, as you can see, standing upright, yep, yep. the surface area, laying the box flat, we've got 200 Actually, I don't even know, 220 mil. Yeah, something like that. So if you just push that one just over there, just so they can see if it's going to tie into the corner of the wall. So obviously there'll be a bead of bead of mortar that goes just underneath here. Now I'm um, going to tie the pods in to make extra strength. So as you can see, rather than block against block, what we're going to do is we're going to run this division wall. We're going to put a cut there under our cut. And we're going to tie that into the front. Okay, just give that a bit more rigidity. And a bit of strength as Jack's worry about. Alright, buddy. Yeah, no, spot on. Absolutely spot on. So yeah, still going to be running the custom DIY filters across the back. We're going to put a uh, 
slight cladding across the front. Uh, uh, front. Blah, 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 blah. Put slight cladding across the front um, of the built-up pond here. Edging stones all the way around the top, and we are actually going to pond line this as well. Sorry, Jack. I know this is a bit of a big update compared to what was there before and I know it seems like we've actually got quite far into it but we, I just wanted to make sure that the strength was there in the wall before I actually sort of got it on video um, so yeah once the coping stones have got on we're going to put some uh, beams across the back here so there'll be two beams per pod at the back very similar to these yeah there you go just like that and while it's on there let's see how good we actually are yeah buddy so yeah so as the beams are going to sit across the back like that we're then going to have the filter boxes sat up on here we're probably going to put two air rings in the bottom just to really sort of uh, agitate the water through so it's getting that good sort of turnover rate um and yeah that is literally where we're up to at the moment so if sort of big diy builds like this is something you guys want to see more of hit me up in the comments down below i'd love to see sort of your opinions what you think what kind of different stocking levels that we've got. Any advice? Yes, also any advice as well. Before it's anything, too late. <laughs> yeah, anything you guys would have done uh, a little bit different. Like I say, I'm always encouraged by all the different comments and views and stuff like that. There are a couple of different uh, progress uh, build photos on my uh, social media. So Facebook and Twitter is at The Balding Reefer. Instagram is slightly different, just popping up down here now, which is at the dot balding dot reefer. Um, but yeah, other than that, thanks very much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. Swipe up if you're watching this on landscape mode at the moment, and either here or here, there's going to be a subscribe button. Whack that for me, and then punch that bell notification afterwards. You're going to get video two, which is going to be coming out on Wednesday evening. But yeah, as ever, stay safe, stay sane, stay happy, especially during all this COVID. Other than that, Baldin Reefer.